Hello everyone, so let's discuss about the WWDC 24 updates regarding the developer tools, Xcode and other frameworks that are introduced in Apple Intelligence. So first let's explore the Xcode 16 beta release notes to know about the requirements we need before installing Xcode 16 beta. So it supports running Mac OS Sonoma 14.5 or later, which means that I have this OS version so I can install 16 beta on my Mac. So there are other features and resolved issues inside this release note, which you can check to basically understand that do you need this update to work for you? And along with that, my export 15.4 is going to work fine. So I have two builds of export. One is the 16 beta that I'm going to use for my testing ex exploratory purposes. And for 15.4, I'm going to use it for my production builds. Now I'm going to show you how we are going to install the Xcode 16 beta on our my Mac OS Sonoma. So here I'm going to click on this link Xcode 16 beta. It is inside the applications tab and it is going to take some time because it is a big download. After that, I'm going to click it. It is going to unzip and then I'm going to click it to accept the license. And then we are going to add some additional simulator tools for iOS 18 so I have clicked and it is going to again take some time to download the simulators that are required to run specific OS so here I have downloaded the iOS simulator for 18 uh, version so after that it's completed uh, we are going to launch Xcode and we are going to create a new project in our Xcode 16 beta so at this point it is downloaded you can basically click on the replay button and check the other simulator versions that you want to install for other type of OS like watch OS, TOS and vision OS as well. So here we are going to create a new project. And I'm going to create an app and I'm going to give it a name. You are going to see here that in testing system, there is a new framework Swift testing that is introduced in WWDC 24. I'm not exploring it at the moment. So I'm going to set the testing system as none for this project. Next, we are going to explore the predictive code completion and see does it work on Mac OS Sonoma in Xcode 16 beta or not. So next I'm going to enlarge the window and then I'm going to wait for some time to preview to display you can also run the code so to see that the Xcode 16 beta is running successfully inside the simulator. These are the different kind of simulators that are supported after installing the relevant simulator runtimes. So after that, I'm going to start creating a struct to see that the predictive code completion is working or not. So let's create a new empty file. It is also giving you an option to create a new file from template. So here I'm going to name the file as recipe. So this is the classic recipe struct that I use in most of my codes. So here I've created a struct. Seems like no completion is working at this point. And next I'm going to mention here variable name of type string. So seems like the predictive code completion is not supported here. So I'm going to write a few functions and edit methods to see that if it's working. The auto completion is uh, quite a nice function in the previous export versions as well. So that is working fine. This is the part of auto completion. It's not the part of predictive code completion. So it seems like it's not working. So let's explore it a bit further and then check into the settings that does the settings exist inside my export 16 beta to check that it might be unchecked for Mac OS Sonoma. So let's see, I'm creating here an enum as well. So I'm going to take you quickly through all of the coding steps and we are going to deduce that the predictive code completion is not working for now. Next, we are going to move to the settings of the Xcode.
so here i'm going to click the export tab and we are going to move to settings in text editing we had three sub tabs with the name of display editing and indentation we are going to move to editing and you are going to see here that predictive auto completion is disabled and it is showing you that it requires Mac OS 15, which is basically Mac OS Sequoia. So we are going to move to updates to check our OS version, which is Mac OS Sonoma 14.5. So it does not fulfill the requirement for predictive auto completion. What does this mean? This means that the models that are used for predictive auto completion are not only a part of your Xcode build, but also a part of your OS, since these might be huge models and they might require their utility in other parts of your os as well so that means that they are going to be shipped with mac os sequoia and you are you can install the beta updates as well i've shown you using the drop down so we can either download and install the mac os beta builds which i do not feel like doing because it it may contain a lot of unstable things and it can cause a lot of crashes and it is quite uh, difficult to download it back to the stable build of Mac OS Sonoma. So I'm going to resort to the different videos. For example, this is a very nice video that shows all of the interesting auto completion features that are working on the Xcode 16 beta. Next, I'm going to discuss about Swift Assist. Swift Assist is a cloud function that is going to load models from the cloud and then it is going to present you a code it is great for prototyping you can see the example in the platform state of the union video in wwdc 24 and it gives you the dummy data as well you can basically run it and you can also change the view requirements as well it is quite a helpful feature then comes the framework that is introduced as swift testing in WWDC 24, it is very good at expressing the requirements for any test and it is quite powerful and it can work with XC tests as well. And you can basically move your XC test to this framework incrementally. Also, concurrency and data race safety is implemented at compile time in Swift 6.0. You can also check out my another video in which I have discussed this thing in detail. Swift data now has unique and index properties for search and uniqueness of the values that can be implemented on any of the specific data type. It can also now use custom data store. Previously, it was only using core data to store data, but now it can use SQLite mapped collection of JSON files and a remote server as well. We are going to explore all of these things inside the Xcode and Swift code in my future videos. So a new feature is the control that you can add using Swift app with a type symbol and app intent inside your controls library which the user can then choose and add to control center and then use your app functionality from there swift is expanding to windows and other flavors of linux as well so this is all for the important updates regarding xcode and developer tools along with the new frameworks and updates to the previous fr frameworks that are introduced in the previous wwdc versions I hope you have got a basic overview of it. Predictive code completion is not working for now and I do not plan to move to beta uh, OS for now. If there are any queries regarding this video, post in the comment section. I'll be exploring all of these new features in detail in my next videos. Stay tuned. Do not forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.